Hi guys, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. We are gonna make banana bread. The lighting is like super off compared, to, like I can just already tell. I mean, duh, I can see my screen. But the lighting is off because it is so gloomy outside. It's cold. It is like 32 degrees outside and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> So I figured a perfect time to turn on the oven and bake something. And I also have bananas. I know, they look disgusting. I like my bananas like barely yellow, like really green. And obviously these are not. So they're perfect and sweet for banana bread, but we're gonna make it in muffins cause you know, portion control. So yeah, okay, let's make it. So starting off with our wet mixture, I have, let me just move my whisk out of the way, kind of. <laughs> I have one stick of butter, so eight tablespoons or half a cup, same thing. I'm gonna add half a cup of some white sugar. It's okay if it has lumps, it's just because of the heat. And I melted my butter in the microwave, but I just wanted to let it cool just for probably like five minutes while I prepped all the other ingredients so it isn't just like a super liquidy mess and it's not too hot. Once you have that mixed, you can add your two eggs. So that's another reason why you don't want everything to be too hot because if your eggs, if your eggs, if your butter is hot, then you're gonna scramble your eggs when you put them in there. Then we can add a quarter cup of some milk. You can do any kind of milk if you're not doing dairy. We're gonna give this a mix just until everything's pretty much combined, scraping off the bottom and you're good. In this bowl, we're gonna work on our bananas. So the blacker of your bananas and like super mushy and squishy, like to the point where you wouldn't wanna like eat a banana straight up, that's when you know you're ready for banana bread. My original recipe only calls for four bananas, but I have five, so why would I waste that extra banana? So we're just gonna add five. you have all your bananas I'm gonna take the same whisk because once again less dishes and just smash them almost till it looks kind of like baby food it'll probably take maybe two minutes and we're there I don't know why I said it's gonna take two minutes that took me probably about 45 seconds then we're gonna add all of our butter, our egg, sugar. I'm gonna switch out my whisk for a silicone scraper. Just go around the sides and then just kinda, well, I, I guess I could have still used my whisk and just mix it together. Then we can add our flour, one cup and another cup. So two cups total. Once your batter is all done, then you can add your nuts. So of course, this is optional. I just feel like banana nut bread requires nuts. You can add walnuts, you can do sliced almonds, really any nut. I mean, I don't know about a peanut, just kind of sounds weird. But, and then obviously if you can't have nuts, don't add any. I'm gonna add roughly a cup. It would be better if I went in and like chopped them small, but oh well. Then we can just fold this in one last time. So I'm gonna bake mine in a muffin tray just for one, they cook quicker. And for two, then it's kind of portion control in a way, because when you slice it, you know, you just cut off as much as you'd like. So you can use any cupcake liners or spray it with a little bit of oil if you don't have any liners. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, I have so many liners, so I like, look at this. And I have three containers of this. In here are like 700. And is it gonna take me a lifetime to finish these? Probably. If you weren't doing it in a muffin pan, if you're doing it in a loaf, whether you're making one, two, three, four, however, 350 for an hour. And then check it with either a toothpick or a knife. Might need a little bit less, might need a little bit longer, depending on how big your loaf is. <laughs> So now it's up to you on how you want to measure how much you want to put in them. I'm not going to be too precise. I'm just going to take a quarter cup measure just so it's easier and it was already a dish that was dirty and just keep scooping it into the batter and just pour it in. 
you want to make sure just like when you're making cupcakes you don't overfill because then you get we get like that nice muffin top but then sometimes it just sticks and it burns and there's sugar in this so just don't chance it always underfill rather than overfill watch me say that and then just fast forward to all of mine that just overflowed you know what's so funny to me is I tell you guys, I'm not going to be precise. Don't be particular about your measurement, but I'm going to use a quarter cup measure. Like what? It was just another dish that was already dirty, but you know. Now we're going to throw these in at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. Now after 25 minutes, we can let them cool. I had a smaller, this is technically a muffin pan, but either way it works. So I'm gonna say that you can make about 22 muffins. Now I'm gonna let these cool because they are piping hot and then we can dry them. Okay, these have been cooling for a while, but don't, they look incredible. Now, what I will tell you is I tried one. Let me just, yeah, okay. I would need two hands for this, but I will tell you next time I do this, I probably won't use a liner because they did get stuck to it. So I don't believe in spraying liners. I just feel like it's kind of defeats the purpose but I would just use my metal pan, but.